sardonic. It's not it's an action thriller, but talky action thriller directed by Joe Carnahan, whose credits include, he's a writer and director, credits include Narc, Smoke and Aces, A-Team, The Grey, the last of which I've a particular fondness for. Um, the film owes a debt to Assault on Precinct 13 and therefore by extension to Rio Bravo. Plays out mainly in a remote police station, I think with Nevada. So Frank Grillo is Teddy Moretto, who we meet punching a rookie cop, Valerie, played by Alexis Lauder, in order to get arrested. He wants to get arrested because he's on the run from a hitman, Bob Vidic, played by Gerard Butler, who has become my favourite thing now as a result of uh, Greenland. Incidentally, a Greenland sequel is on the way. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel about Gerard Butler the same way as I, as I do about the state. Um, however... Gerard Butler's character also inveigles his way into an adjoining cell. Here's a clip. You know, they would have never let you go down. You never seen the inside of a courtroom or that cell. You should have just kept going. I don't do shit or woulda, coulda. Nah, you just light your entire life on fire, run as fast as you can, hoping that'll put out the flames. You know what you've never been? Not once. Tell me, Teddy. You never been forced down the rabbit hole making life and death decisions, Bob. I do that every day. No, you? you don't. Those aren't decisions, those are directives. Kill this guy, kill that guy. Wipe out that family, vanish another one. You're a psychopath, Bob, plain and simple. I'm not a psychopath, Daddy. I'm a professional. And there's a difference. You'll know it when you see it. And they do know it when they see it, because it probably turns up in the form of uh, Anthony Lamb, played by Toby Hussey, who has his own plans for everybody. So you can hear from, from that. I mean, it's a, it's a wordy piece. In that kind of Tarantino-esque, you know, it's a lot of it is to do with, with the dialogue. I mean, there's a lot of action. There's a kind of insane amount of, uh, you know, gunfire and, and explosions and stuff going off. But it is primarily led by dialogue. It's based on a short story by screenwriter Kurt McLeod and Mark Williams with rewrites by Carnahan, who's obviously kind of, you know, has great screenwriting heritage. It is sort of self-consciously smart. Um, and there are bit, it sort of fits into what, what we used to refer to as that tradition of swearing and guns that the old, that the Tarantino movies always kind of, you know, played into. Some of it's fun, particularly, I have to say, uh, Toby Huss as, the, as, as that character of um, Anthony Lamb is a, a particular pleasure. It's not quite as good as I, I wanted it to be. I mean, it's not as sharp as I wanted it to be. I felt that certain bits of it dragged and certain bits of it felt too, you know, it has that kind of comic-y, you know, graphic novel style flippancy to it. But that said, Gerard Butler is Gerard Butler is going through. I don't know what the the, the Matthew McConaughey version of a Gerard Butler essence is going to be. I think probably somebody must have come up with it. But I am getting to enjoy Gerard Butler on screen so much more than I ever did before. I don't think this is great. I do like the people that made it, and there are bits of it that I think work well. And the the stuff which works best is when they're in separate cells, just needling each other. Um, Though not terrific, not terrible either, but, um, you know, a kind of interesting, if it had come, if it, again, if it had been the 90s, it would have come straight to video and, uh, and it would have been, a, and that kind of feels like where it ought to, where it ought to be.